we have got here the Hick Micro Alpex scope and we've got that sat on the CZ45222 LR rifle. The scope is a night vision scope and it gives a very good, very sharp colour day screen on there. We can then change that to a, a night vision mode. Now you get a black and white night vision image through this and uh, it's also very, very good at last light. So when with a naked eye, you're basically just looking into darkness. With this, you still retain a color image for quite a while after dark. And then you go over to night vision mode using the IR illuminator, which will clip on the top there. This one you'll see I've made a slight modification there. I've just put a fishing coaster on the front there. A bit basic, but the idea being that with that, it makes it a lot easier when you're behind the, the rifle to be able to just reach forward and just with your fingertips just adjust that for fine focus. So the scope itself is a 30mm body tube on there so you can use standard day optic mounts with that. Here we're using some sports match mounts on there. It's got a rechargeable battery built into this. You've also got the option to run it on a CR123A battery in the top there. It's got a zoom on the side, nice smooth zoom and it will also record directly to an inbuilt memory. So the basic controls of this scope, uh, we've got three buttons just on the eyepiece here. You've got your power button, you've got a record button, although this does have a setting where it will automatically record triggered by the recoil of the rifle. So it will go back 10, 20, whatever you choose seconds previous to the shot. That button swaps it between uh, night vision and day vision. Now, also it um, does a picture in picture mode. The main menu functions are accessed via the turret on the side here. You just push and hold that to enter the main menu. You've got uh, four times zoom on here and you've also got the option to have picture in picture mode. So you get the superimposed little screen at the top of the, the main screen, which allows you to aim a little bit more precisely, or you can just use the wheel on the side there, which gives you a very smooth zoom from one times to four times magnification. I will generally use the picture-in-picture -picture mode to aim with, um, particularly on a longish sort of shot, but it does give you the ability to see everything around you as well. So if potentially if there's something else coming into the line of fire, you see it a lot better than what you would just in the picture-in-picture -picture mode. So it basically does uh, everything that a standard night vision scope would do and, and more, and with a nice clear image too.